Jennifer Priest here and today I'm going to share with you how to use your Eclipse 2 to make stencils for terracotta pots. So here I have um, one of the designs from the Sizzix eShape store and I just put that into the software. Um, you can see the library there on the right hand side. You can pull, you can browse and then pull shapes in from that library to cut in your eShape store. So I just picked this kind of little folk type of um, image to put onto one of my pots. And then I resized it so it was about six inches tall because these are big terracotta pots, so I wanted it to fit. Next, I typed the word garden in Spanish using a font called Barcatina One. And if you click on the little I button that is for the info cards, it will take you to a blog post that shows you how to do um, all of that and it has the link to the font and everything so that you can go download it. It's a great font for doing stenciling and basically I use those text, um, the controls in the text toolbox over there on the right hand side so that I could change the spacing between the letters and then in the path button I merged everything together so that it wouldn't be like a bunch of little pieces. Next I loaded my mat into the machine, chose vinyl for the type of material and then clicked the cut button to go ahead and cut that in the Sizzix Eclipse 2. So here you can see the Sizzix Eclipse 2 working. It cuts really nice and fast. Once your stencils are cut, you're going to trim any extra vinyl from the edges with um, some scissors. Leave a little bit of an edge around your vinyl image so that you can um, have that little bit of a border because we are stenciling with it. Now you're going to carefully remove your vinyl stencil from the backing and then lay it onto your pot. Now because the pot is curved both horizontally and vertically, you are on two, or it's curved on two planes, it's going to be really hard to get it to lay flat. So you're going to kind of have to monkey with it a little bit like I did here and really press it down. You can see there's some little raised bubble edges um, at the edges of the vinyl. And what you're going to want to do is take your stencil brush or stencil, stencil sponge like I'm using here and keep it perpendicular or straight up and down from the uh, area that you're stenciling. That way you won't get very much paint going underneath those little bubbles. Like you can see on the top of the A, there's a real big bubble right there. Once you're done, peel off all of that vinyl and throw that out, and then you can seal it with the spray sealer. Now here, I'm gonna show you how to do the design on a terracotta pot. And these are really old terracotta pots, so you don't have to, um, you don't have to worry about, oh, if it's new or old or whatever. And in fact, the older ones are a little bit easier to deal with because um, they have some dirt on them, which makes it so the stencil is less sticky. So it's a little bit easier to use with the stencil. So the design is a little bit harder to do. You could use a transfer tape to do this, um, but I didn't use a transfer tape because I was worried about bending the, or tearing and stretching the stencil. So once you have your stencil in place, you're gonna use some paint. You can use stencil paint, acrylic paint, chalk paint, whatever you want, to stencil the image through the vinyl. And then once again, once you're done, you'll peel away the vinyl. And you're gonna use some tweezers to pull the extra out. Now you can see I left a little piece of vinyl on that terracotta pot. I didn't even see that till I was making the video. Um, so this is a nice way to kind of dress up your pots, give them a little bit more of a customized look without spending any money. And it actually looks really good on old weathered pots. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please click the um, link up there in the info card so that you can get over to the Sizzix blog and see more information about all the tools that I use to make this as well as um, leave a comment and see all the other fun stuff that Sizzix has to offer. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and over here on the back panel if you click any of the little highlighted boxes it will take you to different tutorials for all kinds of different stuff that we've done here at uh, Jess JP and Hydrangea Hippo. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.